Today we're going to play Deus Ex Human Revolution and reminisce about the creation of the game. We spent quite a few years of our lives developing it, so obviously we have a lot of memories attached to it. We're going to try and share as much as we can. Hi, my name is Jean-François Dugas. I'm the Executive Game Director on Deus Ex. And I'm Jonathan Jacques Bellatet, and I'm the Executive Art Director on the Deus Ex franchise. The loading screens, I wanted them quick. Oh, quick. Very, very quick. I thought you didn't want any loading no, screens. But now we're on PC, it's not too bad. We were using camera angles because we didn't have all the CD. <laughs> yeah, like we were it, hiding it. Yeah, we were hiding like all the pieces that were not built uh, and everything. Look, it's not even touching. The VTOL is not, not even touching the ground. Yeah, there's hangar A and there's hangar A. <laughs> What's up with that? I don't remember that. <laughs> Me either. Hey, park it in, in hangar B. What? <laughs> <laughs> park, no, park it in hangar A. Which one? I see only A. a. But which one? The right one or the left one? Actually, that conversation with Farida Malik um, uh, back in the day, like when we had our first playthrough, it didn't exist. It was a time like we had the first uh, the first pass of the story implemented yeah. in the game, yeah. and there was nothing personal and nothing that was making you ask questions about oh, oh, yeah, how it yeah, felt yeah, no, being. Yeah augmented or whatever and that was because that's after his first mission as the, the as a super cyber, yeah. cyborg right yeah, yeah so there was like nothing that was reinforcing the theme of transhumanism yeah. and how you felt as a player because in this we're busy basically going to ask the player how did it feel or like to 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 get yeah we're asking the player through adam yeah exactly but that didn't exist the first time around it's like we were like something's missing something's missing <laughs> So, um, every choice is X. Shouldn't it be like Y and B? No, okay, I'm just saying all stuff. <laughs> um, so, what did she uh, they, they They came in handy today. Okay, yeah, so she just asked me about my OGS. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's like you, you went in the manufacturing plant, yeah. you, you had the first taste they, of augmentations. They, they intrigued me. So I, really I, felt felt I felt, I felt tingling right. I didn't choose to get augmented. when I used them. I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But his shoulders were so damn wide. Yeah, it was a little bit over the top. Right? It was a little bit. Over. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Just be careful, okay? But um, maybe uh, it was a little too much. <laughs> Slightly too much. <laughs> a little too much. Uh, and Adam Jensen, like when you look at it, he didn't look that good in the game compared to the CGI trailer whatsoever. There's a big difference, like. Today he looks way more like in the yeah, CGI. but I still think I think his face kicked ass in the game. Oh, I'm not saying think, you mean there. Okay, you, you, it's not that it didn't look good. It did, there was a big difference. Yeah, quality. As as of now, there's a there's a lot less difference. Yep. The mankind divided. That's yeah. what I meant. <laughs> Th thank you, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's, it's um. Yeah. It's late. And it's, um, it's funny that uh, Farid Malik for us when we build uh, this game. And with the story we were building, we knew that Adam Jensen would have a pilot, right? Yeah. But that was pretty much it. We had this, uh, the idea it would be a female pilot and da 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 da. But there was there wasn't much background mm -hmm. background story about that character or like for us at that point, it was not. Uh, it was just like uh, someone that just someone drives who, you to who drove the, the chopper from A to B. Mm -hmm. And then as we build the game, like we gave her more and more flavor and the art uh, came in and uh, made that interesting character. And then the fans made her the most important character of the whole yeah, game. Yeah, it's crazy then. That, that's one of my point. This is where I was going with that. Like, uh, Sleep. Too long this conversation. People, people felt like she was one of the few characters in the game. They got really emotionally attached to Yes, but she's, she stays true to herself. She has no... Uh, well, if she has a hidden agenda, nobody knows about it. She's like, like the only one really who doesn't appear to be lying. Yeah. <laughs> in this whole game and, of and, liars. And, 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 and Pritchard, he behaves like a, a prick, but he's also uh, very uh, truthful, like Malik can be in the, in the game. Nah, Pritchard's hiding something, man. Yeah. No way Pritchard is. He, he, wants to, so, he wants to do a play. He wrote a play. Yeah, so the, the VTOL is, is, I think it still <coughs> looks super good today. I've always wanted to make a kit model, like a kit bash out of it, like buy a tons of like model of like choppers and airplanes and tanks and, uh, and then uh, kit bash it into the, the, the VTOL. I think we did such a good job. It looks so low poly nowadays, but um, still the design is super good. 
really, really happy with what we came up with it. Um, yeah, but speaking of Malik, right, there's a, there's a lot of people that, that are so bummed that we're not bringing her back um, in the stuff that we've shown yet of Mankind Divided. Uh, and they're like, how come she's not her new pilot, blah, blah, blah. Um, time will tell. Time will tell, exactly. Yeah. What was that? Was X everything? Yeah, there. Yeah, it was X. We all so, changed uh, the controls, yeah, so everything's it's confusing. Yeah. It was cover. It's cover. I'm just buying out. What is she doing? <laughs> this, this is Rebecca. I have a crush on her. Go, go see her for fun. Go I see don't her. know. I'm shy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's oh, go. Man. You're, you're able. I don't know if she likes me or not. You've been around. Yeah. A few times. So point on her, please. W what do you mean? Like talk to her? Yeah. Jensen, you were there at the plant. What happened? How did that monster get away from you? Serif employees. Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't remember I what were the tags we were giving to for the, the for those NPCs. And our great what, Picus, Picus Daily. Uh, so newspaper. much work that went into these newspapers, and it was crazy. Like all the art, because how many we have? We have, there's like, um, there's like six or eight different ones of those? Uh, probably more than that, actually. We had quite a bit, like uh, at some points, as you were going through some of the missions, some of the key beats, then yeah, we were updating it, uh, them uh, with some of the events, depending on how you played or not. For example, uh, in the police station, that is a little bit later on. Uh, it adapts to what you did, like exactly, when you, if exactly. you killed everybody in yeah, the police station yeah, and yeah. everything. So now we have to go see Pritchard, I guess. The so I remember these, uh, these, um, the security guards, we totally forgot about them. To we totally forgot designing them, and then it's like towards <coughs> the end of the game. I made like this really, really quick sketch in Photoshop and like, 12 minutes, I was like, hey, there we go. All right, it's them. And uh, so there was never like a proper concept art for those guys. The guy who eternally cleans is the windows. So we need to go see Pritchard, right? Yep. Mr. Sarif. Uh, oh, that's, that's the old version when he had big uh, eyebrows. We <laughs> never changed it because um, that, yeah. at some point we have the uh, David Sarif had like huge eyebrows as a character, and we went back to it, and uh, we were calling him David Sourcy Sur <laughs> in French. It's eyebrow saucy. is Sourcy, so Sourcif. It was da David Sourcy. There's <laughs> a Final Fantasy 27 uh, poster that we actually had to like ask like the upper upper echelons of Square, Square Enix, Enix Japan if we if yeah. we if we could do that. And yeah. they, uh, they said yes. Uh, it took a while, though, to get their answer. Yeah. yeah. And now our beloved friend, Pritchard. Pritchard. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us yeah, all. Those lines were playing differently depending how you played the, the previous So now we didn't mission. kill anybody in the, in the manufacturing plant, so he calls us Mahatma Gandhi. Yes. Because we probably did it. The, the, that's the, the stealth, stealth version. Uh, yeah. version. Yeah. yeah. You didn't kill anyone, and on the other one, it's. Uh, Attila the Hunt or something like that, if I remember well. And uh, that was really important to us to, uh, to make sure that uh, what you were doing, like, like people in the round would, would react accordingly and to making the, yeah. you feel like... It's a big part of the franchise. Yeah, it gives absolutely. you this idea, it gives you the impression that the, the, the game is... Um, not, I mean, that you, you have a real impact on the world because yeah, people react yeah, to it. Yeah. That's what it was in the first one, right? Like the first time you yeah. went into the girls' bathroom, the, women, the women's bathroom, and then uh, Someone the was secretary commenting. was coming, thinking that you went into the girl. And I was wasn't like, it Menderley? I can't remember. I think it's, it's uh, his secretary. Oh, really? Okay. And, uh, and I remember being like, wait a second, you know, the game knows. You know, yeah. Obviously the game knows, but I mean, it's taken... Um, and we repeated that scene in the, in the game, yeah. and this is Pritchard that tells you that. Yeah. Like, it was, a, it was an homage to the uh, original game. So what do we need to do now, Jeff? Because I didn't listen to Pritchard at all. I don't remember. Well, oh, we, we need have to go, see to go David. Sourcif, David Sourcif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is when we're trying to yeah. uh, make people believe this. It's a much, much bigger building. But there's, a, there's something weird in there, isn't it? There's, um, wasn't oh, there something that we uh, messed up? Uh, well, like what we messed up is that actually we didn't we didn't uh, realize that the team wouldn't be able to make the elevator go to different, different floors. floors yeah. <laughs> so we could only be at that floor and go to the top, but you could go to another floor. Like you couldn't stop in between floors, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You had to go from one floor to the the last one, or vice versa. But it was kind of a... Uh, yeah, ele elevators were a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had to 
the, do the make believe. Like, and now we're going to see font. we're going to see this, the the city on the other end. I think. Nope. That's in the other one. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah. We were in Detroit. The baseball thing was uh That was your thing. Yeah. Baseball fan. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Can we go in the garage and play some baseball? Yep. Yep. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> That's the best non porn magazine. To have. Is it? Good housekeeping. <laughs> Good housekeeping. <sighs> That's not part of the game, though. No. But I like to take charge. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town. I remember like all the gestures we had for the characters. We like just had a handful and oftentimes when they were arguing, they were going, yeah, I'm telling you this is what's happening. And <laughs> remember for the longest time um, during production, the, the NPCs couldn't hold anything yes. in their hands. It didn't work, so they, it was all kind of <laughs> clipped through yeah. their hands and it would stop like at their wrist. Oh, so man. everybody, you know, a lot of NPCs somehow in our world read their tablets. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Everybody's on their phones today and, and everything. But the tablets would always be floating in it people's wrists and be talking to you <laughs> with their tablets like this. And or sitting like the stool, the, the chair would be here and it'd be sitting there. And, 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 you know, we were floating. going nuts over it for a long time yeah, until we realized it was nuts. really complicated and it would only be fixed by the end. So at some point we stopped, we stopped. yelling about it. <laughs> it was really annoying. Yeah. I think if people knew how games are made, you know what I mean? How um, the stages we go through, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, right, it's like when we had that bug that, that we just talked about like we knew this is not this, this wasn't right we knew yeah. that this is not what we wanted but and we knew that everybody knew that everybody too. knew but yeah. it's still we had to wait two years for that thing <laughs> to stop being like that right it's yeah. uh, but that's the thing eh? when there are so many things at once that need to be taken care of there are so much bandwidth you can deal with remember that we're in a Kuruskin Kuruskin what is the planet in Star Wars Kuruskin 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 because there's all the there's so many things flying around. <laughs> I remember saying I didn't want to have this. There used to be much more than that. Yeah, we toned it down. They used to be like the the highways of spaceship, like, like on Kurosawa. At, so, at some point, it was and the uh, ducks going south for the winter. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it was. <laughs> uh, and uh, actually, there's less than I remember. I, I think oh. if you wait long enough, there's like eight of them that come at the same time. No, it's because we toned it down. Yeah, we ended up toning it down. Dramatically. That was one of the big things I, I didn't want is to have like... Too kind of, much. Yeah, vision of the future. We're like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, like the Jetsons. Yeah, yeah. Flying across the, it's too much. the city. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we need to uh, get out of there. Oh, here, right? we, uh, sorry, uh, John, but we didn't take the time to admire your, your ceiling. This is here. one of my favorite rooms yeah. in the entire game, actually. It's true. <laughs> yes, it's a, and it's who, a game said about that? Like, ceilings. Yeah, someone said that at some point. It's the, there are some journalists that said it. Yeah. It's one of the best it. game. Yeah, games out there about there, ceilings. I've received emails about mine, kind of. It's saying that you know people hope that this, the crazy ceilings were are, are back. That. Yeah. It's oh back. man, this is where there's all the posters from um, from uh, my girlfriend at the time. This is actually posters she did. She was in design school, and uh, some these is the stuff she did. Yeah, because we needed to do all these posters, and I was like, I guess I got lazy. I didn't want to have to design all these things, and I just stole her stuff and put it at small. And it's super high res. Super high res. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the, the way it was intended by the creator. Of course. <laughs> this is not one of those, though. But, uh, Slaves. This probably slave to socks. This, this probably Phil Chu who did that. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Rock concert. This kind of stuff he does. No. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but why Phil Chu? Because this is the kind of stuff he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're saying. <laughs> the cars, man. The cars. 
that uh, shows its age. Big time. And I remember all the discussions about them, like they needed to be cover friendly yeah. and everything. Like it, it sounds silly, but doing a, a cover based game, it's quite a lot of night of headaches and it's yeah. a big nightmare for artists that are trying to because you don't want to make a world that looks like just uh, sharp angles like squares and things like that we we want the clutter we want it to feel rounded and but you still have to 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 uh, to support the cover system so yeah. it's quite tricky man it almost looks uh cell shaded man <laughs> yeah <laughs> like we're so used to the new generation of consoles and new pcs around and when you look at it like, but that's what we wanted eh? we wanted yeah. things i wanted like textures to be very clean and very kind of you know but it's more striking today like yeah uh it's what like four years ago almost humanity front that poster actually our group was called humanity first, humanity first yeah. and then but that existed. it existed so for the legal reasons we had to change it all over the place and dialogues the posters everything it's fun as you walk by like all the little things that this guy getting into the old uh, garage i remember all the discussions that we did it because some people fear that we wouldn't find the weapon dealers so mm. it was a way to attract like an enticer an enticer to attract players to go investigate that area <clears throat> so this was cool show don't tell for the time it's like you know we didn't have the budget to do a riot or to do like a big uh, um not necessarily a riot but um a protest, protest in front of the limb clinic so we said okay let's just do the state after the protest yeah, when people yeah. left and all the <clears throat> but originally we wanted the protest to yeah to go we wanted on. the real thing yeah but yeah. you know sometimes it's either money or time or yeah. tech constraint and then you need to find alternatives right and did we break windows because i knew that uh, yeah uh, i remember i was asking for some broken windows uh, or some dirt uh, i mean on the limb clinic no i know but I, I i saw the texture and i thought it was broken but uh oh so that's the glitch. Yeah, the, the famous glitch the famous that comes glitch. later. Later, in the game. but no, it comes <laughs> now. <laughs> All right, so we need to go see Doctor. What's her name again? Markovic. Mar Mar Markovic. So we're playing the director's cut. I just realized. Yeah. So we could actually go to all the stuff that w that we talked. The commentaries. Yeah, and just and, shut and, up. And and just shut up and listen to our. <laughs> just, just listen to our own. Yeah. She used to be younger or older? I don't remember. It was a different model of her at one point. Uh, at some point, she was, she was younger. younger. Yeah. And now she became something even older. And I think we brought her back to something. Mm. She was. Uh, she had a tough... Uh, so you think she's augmented her? That's a good question. Huh? She's probably augmented. She, when I look at those eyes, she looks you straight in the eye. She, she talks with confidence and probably in that day so of age augmentations were giving you the, the boost so of she, confidence she has, you need. she has a personality augmentation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. she was really shy and yeah. okay okay uh, I, I think she's augmented yeah okay she's very discreet about it but she is. <laughs> i didn't know about these you guys did a lot of, you put a lot of details in there <laughs> can you go like we we had the operation rooms in the back you remember at first so, every time yeah. we were supposed to go there and have an operation and have yeah. jensen it used to be that every time it wasn't like um the, we couldn't use a praxis kits on yeah. the fly it didn't exist it that didn't concept. exist exactly no. we needed to come to the limb clinic pay and then we actually wanted to uh, you know have to walk um you know, to the room and uh, get the operation going and th th there would have been a cutscene every time and we would see like the new augmentation that we had and uh, it was so that didn't a happen. bad idea. And I think that the reason oh why, if I re remember probably, the reason why we can still go into this corridor and watch everything, uh, we ended up putting a computer and writing stuff, but I remember complaining quite a bit that I still wanted this to be open because we had put so much effort yeah. in this. Uh, it doesn't really look anymore like we put actually we want, <laughs> yeah, we want we we wanted to keep it open because like we always said like in dsx most of the places you see you should be able to go and we had the same debate that there should be a secret passage to go to where uh the dr markovic that welcomes you that you could go in her yeah. in her booth but in the end we i like how people are being operated on uh with their uh fully you know all with their, all their clothes on yeah, that's yeah, great. So. <laughs> and can we go where the the Let's scientists are in the back? No, we I, can't. 
No, because at some point here? we were supposed to go. No, this is all locked up now. Yeah, yeah. That's one of our big, big failures. Even uh, Dr. Markovic, we can go behind it. Not anymore. Uh, no, not no, anymore. No, 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 no. But at some point it was discussed. And yeah. So I remember being super pleased about this room with all the 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 little things, the little products, the little boxes, and it the was one of brand. the first one that it was we, one of the first ones that we did that. But man, it looks like nothing anymore. But uh, yeah, here was a wasn't there something funny in this computer? In 2008, uh, it was impressive. Yeah, it was. I seem to remember it was like something. Yeah, it was like. What? There's something about the World Health Organization, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the second one. Whatever, I'm not going to read that. But yeah. Yeah, so this used to be like major gameplay here in the sense that, yeah, you'd come here, you'd get augmented, and uh, yeah, there would be like different cutscenes and blah, blah, blah. But now it's just kind of. It's just like a cool place to go and, and look at. Man, there was like so many iterations of the, the Limb Clinic, remember, in terms of concept art. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah it took, uh, took quite a while to get it. That yeah. was like the most, it was like really cyber renaissance thing with the, the, the chandeliers and the, the things on the, the, the little, um, how do you call that? Little boxes on the walls. And, yeah. And uh, I remember also that we we had a lot of discussions about whether you should be able to pull your gun there or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at some point, uh, some people were uh, suggesting to put turrets in there. <laughs> yeah, because if you could if you could start <laughs> yeah. chaos and shoot everybody, yeah. You sh yeah we needed a way to, to calm you down. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of meetings yeah. about yeah. chaos and how we manage it in certain situations and can, where can we can we drag the body all over yeah. to like another yeah. part of the city or yeah. not and, and all this stuff right yeah. crazy amount of discussions about those things of course and sometimes uh, and uh, we were uh, as much as possible uh, yeah, we were going rooting market. for you know what if a player no, wants to go crazy and do installed. some some crazy oh, shit break we, we, almost. It, it breaks the game but at the same yeah. time we we thought it was well, important to allow them to do to whatever they wanted. The yeah. So, so this is the uh, the part of the city that we've always wanted to be kind of like the modern part, right? Like the the part that we call it the Sarif Industries part because Sarif Industries just at the end. And it's kind of like all the new stores and, and it's blooming again. Yeah, it's blooming again. And it looks more modern and everything. And then um, now we need to go to the police station. Yeah. And that's uh, the part of the the city that we kind of well we called it the police. Uh, the police building section, but uh, uh, it was more like um, an older part of Detroit, right? With the old buildings and yeah. the old architecture. Um. But before we get there, we're going to see our oh, yeah. amazing <laughs> dancer. That <laughs> the prodigy, the, the, the pro prodigy senior, senior that is whatever. dancing. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Um, maybe he's uh, um, the Joker as well. I don't know. Yeah. And like red lipstick and as the Joker. My only uh, regret with this one is that it would have been cool if it had been an augmented uh, kind of artist, yeah, like sure. doing crazy what stuff. What is augmentations, and, right? Yes, Some kind of yes. crazy stuff, crazy yeah. dance. It can only yeah. happen with uh, augmentations, yeah, and yeah. it wouldn't have been able otherwise. And yeah, this and, is what it should have been. But it was too late. Like when we wanted to address that, it was uh, uh, you can do it. Yeah. So we were running out of time. <laughs> this guy has there used moves. to be. Uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, this guy has some moves, man. <laughs> I remember wanting to have this convenience store here open. I wanted to be able to walk into it and whatever, but again. So, now we're going to see Eliza's second dress, which we only see in ads. Right here. Yeah, it's just Pretty cool stuff. And the train passes in front of her. Yeah, that was all planned. No, but it is. It's all scripted, right? We arrive here. So, here is the alleyways right here. We can arrive through here. We can also arrive through the sewers. And, and we can get in the police station, station from, yeah. from Yeah, from the sewers, yeah. yeah. So that's the old part of town. Remember when we wanted to have an actual neighborhood almost only for the augmented people? That's where Adam Jensen's building would have been. And I wanted yeah, the whole yeah. uh, place to really look cyber renaissance. Like all the yeah. buildings would have been these new kind of architecture yeah. based yeah. On, on, on Baroque and, and Renaissance things. And uh, We did a good um, job, eh? We did an amazing <laughs> job. And I remember when we cut it and we yeah. said, no, it's just going to be too much. I, I can't remember why we didn't building. do that. I think it was just production. Um, it was too it, taxing. It was just, yeah, just too taxing to have all these different palettes. So it's always the same story. It's, it's the Chiron building, Chiron building right? if I remember well. And here is uh, to go to where uh, the gangs are. The Lyric Row. The, the Lyric Row, yeah. So let's try to go. Let's try to stealth and go to that. Let's uh, go crazy. Let's go to, to the antenna 
even just, though we haven't had any any news about it yet, yeah, right? Because if we go, if we reach the antenna before we have the game reacts to the, it. the game reacts yeah, to it, right? Yeah. Before we hear that it's being jammed, then we need to go and jam it and stuff, right? All right. Let's see what these punks are gonna say. It's the RB turf, asshole. Don't try it. It's been so now long. we need to go to the police station. No, no, I know, but uh, can I? Do I have some praxis points now? What do I have? No, you have nothing. Nothing. You have nothing because. How you come do. there's nothing, Jeff? This is. Uh, it, it's balancing. Why didn't you make a game in which I had? No, we couldn't do that. You could have made the no. game for me. Okay, um, so let's try to let's try to go with nothing. Let's try like no augmentations or. And you know there's the stealth pad there, and I think through the other alley on the other side of. Uh, that area of Detroit, we can uh, we can go around and uh, yeah, we can go through and, the sewers and, as well and go, f uh, but also go from uh, get uh, get in from the apartment section. So I don't even remember, man. What do so I really have no augmentations at all now. No, it's because we didn't start at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I know. But wait a second. Okay, I have no, but I have this. Maybe um, you can go in the menu. There's the debug menu, so you can assign. Uh, no, it's gonna be fine. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I didn't realize we put that much uh, backlight on the characters. It was um, it was the era. It was the era of backlight. That's all I gotta say. That's what it was. Everybody did it. We're still doing it. Otherwise, it's going to turn around. All right. So, back in the day, when if you were stealthy and you were doing, uh, you were going for the lethal takedown, you were like attracting the attention of everyone. Yeah. Which it's something that in mankind divided, it's not going no. to play out the same. So these gangs, who who were they, Jeff? What are those? What's are, their deal? If I remember well, those are the DRBs. And, uh, I can't remember what the acronym is standing f for, but yeah, those DRBs were, were derelict row uh, bangers. Yeah, they were. Uh, they, they were against augmentation, like these were, ones. Yeah. Yeah. So they're yeah. not augmented. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, and I remember I'm a, we had to light that place several times. Yeah, it was like really it, dark. It was really point. dark, hard to to know where to go. I remember some of the first playthrough, uh, some of the journalists or some even uh, the playtesters when they started to play that map, and even uh, some of our uh, uh, dev colleagues, like they went and tried to break the game and like, ho ho ho, I'm going to go there first, uh, and then uh, go for the objective and they thought like the game wouldn't allow you to do that. And it was quite yeah, the opposite, exactly. like the, the game lets you... Yeah. You remember how many times we redid the Detroit uh, map? City Hub? The City Hub, three. Yeah. At least yeah, three at, times. At least three times, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a big learning process. Yeah, because at first we were trying to, like in America, like a lot of uh, the streets are really, really wide and we were trying to replicate, replicate that, that yeah. and it felt so empty and so... And, and much bigger than in real life somehow, even yeah. though we use the same yeah. metrics, but that's what, you know, sometimes because of the, um, how much the lens is open in a first person shooter, yeah. right? Like yeah. the amount of, uh, so it makes it, everything look bigger. And It was not creating a good feeling and we had to just go for kind of a, an interpretation, a caricature it of a... Yeah, it looked like a caricature of a city. Yeah. yeah. But also remember, like there was uh, all the the streaming, how we streamed the map. Right? Yeah. Oh uh, yes. There, yes. There was a lot of uh, of uh, iterations because of that, right? That's um, the whole section with the alleys is because yeah. of that. Because of that, and uh, there's where's the there's the metro station. The metro station is, 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 yeah. is uh, in the is middle. The streaming section in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Yeah. All because of that. All because we need to load the rest. Because Jeff didn't want to have loading screens. Yeah. In the, in the I mean, loading time in the. Um, in the map, in the, in the city of Once you're in the maps, yeah. yeah. So put some dudes here. Okay, let's try this. So now you go from the blue to the green. <laughs> Please, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try this. Yeah. You can do it. You think? Yeah. I'm positive. Yeah. 
I ended up having a lot of fun with the hacking, and again, you know, when you start having your augmentations and you stop, you stop having, uh, you start having the bombs and the the stops and all that stuff. It was, it was really cool. Um, Jensen, how many iterations did you and Frank go through for the hacking? It started because uh, people have uh, need to understand that Frank is the master of Excel, the, the software. Oh, yeah. He, the guy, yeah, he could make a whole game in Excel. Yeah, and actually the first the first hacking prototype was all done in Excel, and he, he that was like, my favorite one. That one. And he was refreshing like the the the. the the calculations, whatever, like every seconds or two, and he had like red right. dots going in the Excel sheet in this diagram, like where like it he was simu it it was simulating graphics. simulating the enemies uh, oh. enemy patrols. You don't have the Acres landing, buddy. Yeah, but I and I figured he, he can. Yeah, gee, really, he's dead. Bam. That that was like two floors. Okay, so here's our um, our friend, our really good friend, Mr. Oss. That, um, yeah, so that kid, so so they talk about their past. They were in a SWAT together, yeah. Adam and Oz. Two years ago. Two years ago. And uh, there, there was an augmented kid. He was 15, right? Yeah, and he, has a, he had a mechanical 15, cannon on his head. No, but he didn't. But, <laughs> but we don't know what he had, actually. <laughs> but, but Adam was given the order to shoot. He didn't want because it, it was a kid. Yeah. And Wayne did it. Yeah, it was. But, but we kept on joking throughout the production that it was like this little little kid, <laughs> this tall. And his augmentation was like a Sherman turret <laughs> on his on his head, right? And he's playing in the playground. There's all the cups around. But he's did, just, did you keep the drawing? He's just playing. I did. <laughs> you, you never. Yeah, kept I just, there's drawings of that all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> we did tons of doodles of that. <sighs> this is where we used to have a uh, uh, George Bush's face. Uh, no, that was in a concept art. And the concept art of this scene... It has been released to the public. Yeah, it was released to the... Because, yeah, sometimes we just, you know, put placeholders in yeah, concept art. Yeah. But we should always be careful. And uh, the concept art of this, one of the wanted thing is uh, George W. Bush. Which totally makes sense. But we removed it. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Jensen? Boss. <laughs> Surprised to see you here. Yeah, man, well, that's. I guess you're better at looking out for yourself. How than much I. money went into that conversation? Here, so you think? <laughs> need to get into the more. Five, ten bucks, that's maybe. It. Yeah, five. Yeah. Oh, forget it. Maybe ten. I don't know what's going on. I actually, we worked on that. My orders come from the what? We did Kickstarter no for it. <laughs> we kickstarted. We kickstarted the, the conversation. Years, you want the um, you an order. You've always man, that was that, that that was an ongoing yeah. work until yeah. the end. I think when it was um, almost you get like off being so self seriously, N not in the last year, the first three Look years. It yeah. took us from three Spark years King to Commander nail that because the, I remember the last year we had to do all the other ones, yeah. and it was a pre so pretty. Uh, it was like our bench schedule. Mark. Yeah, it was the bench one because there was the look, the stylization for character at first looked even more cartoonish, more stylized. And then at some point you re revise the way we were doing it, and yeah. Wayne Ass was the first one to. Uh, yeah. To so get do you that remember treatment. how to get him to uh, let us in? I don't remember at all. Play it, man. Okay. Wing Look, him. you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I can't remember. Putting you in a bad position. But, but now you have the augmentation, so if you pay attention to the the pheromone oh, yeah, types, yeah, yeah. you I'm can. Uh, in a bad position. I don't see how so we, we had this thing. Oh, I see. You remember the so the pills like in the bag? Yeah. The moment yeah. I open that door, I'm yeah. Actually, with the uh, social augmentation, you can use that against him. Don't make me do this. So he was he was a running joke throughout the development because yeah. he's so whiny and he's so right, so complaining weak. all he's so weak. So we were always yes. kind of. your job is at risk. It was a character that yes, a lot of people no like love to hate. Past, but look, yeah, exactly. I need your help, and it's important. So Omega word, flashed a couple of times I'll take already. Care of I don't even remember how you that works. Finger for me back then. Yeah, I have to Why go with uh, right the one that is past? dominant, the one that comes back the the, mo the most the most often. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I took his life. He was a threat, and you knew it. So don't come here. So it was actually the first one. Wayne Ass is the only one I think that the the body anime the body is not uh, mocap. It's all hand animated. If I remember, he was all right. yeah, he was all hand animated. He was 15. I can't. I don't remember. Okay, look. I've handled this all wrong. From the minute I walked But it was cool to see his reactions. I guess, and I guess I wasn't prepared. Yeah, we thought this animation was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 
Myself included. Back in the day, it was not too bad. Mm. Okay, I start <laughs> this again. I don't know. To, today, exactly it feels a little bit simplistic. I guess, I guess I need a little time to mull it over. So just go away for now. And his eyes Come are back so when stiff. Had a to think. Yeah. Oh, you got a neutral, I think. So, um, was a demonstration at the limb thing. you can go outside, you can go by the... I can start shooting everybody if I want to. Two. Since you're that kind of guy and you have the right equipment to do All that. Right. Who's, fooling <laughs> Who's fooling around with the door? <laughs> yeah. Sir, come back here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. I really like that effect that we did with did a little triangular um, it was beautiful. screen thing when he disappears. It's still yeah. it's still pretty damn good. Do it with the X-ray to see the smart uh, vision. Do I have it? It's yeah, there the we go. yeah. Do it again. Again. Huh. Again. Again, please. Mm. Yeah. Once more. It's but uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Back then, I really liked it. What I remember is that. In the blueprint, this map, when we were blueprinting all the game on paper and what would be the experience, the mission objectives, the choices, the consequences, all, when we were figuring out all those things. And we were putting uh, the average amount of time we thought it would take to players to, 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 do get, it. to get this done. And I remember on the blueprint, this thing was, I think it was between 10 to 20 minutes tops you could you can spend two hours you can spend map. yeah easy when I, easy. I, I when i used to play that map uh and with my play style it was 90 minutes and yeah, it was well, like, holy shit. so this is this is the part of the demo that we had in in japan in, and in tokyo that i would uh, screw up well i've done it a few times yeah because i remember in the demo we needed to it had to be done what we wanted is to do it stealthy stealthily right so i had to go down here and make sure this guy didn't see me um why is he? He didn't. He, he used to move, didn't he? Uh, he still moves. Yeah, he moves once I get down. Is that it? I, get I don't downstairs. know if it's that or. Oh, yeah, there we go. That took a long that. time. Yeah. Yeah. Oop, See, oop, this, oop, that's, oop. that's that's when I would mess it up exactly. <laughs> or sometimes you were making too much noise in the stairs. Yeah, there we go. Did it See? again. again. Take that. All right. So and, and uh, you have to drag the body so the camera doesn't see him. Is that what it is? It's X. Hold X. Yeah. Everything's X in this game. Yeah. It was consistent back, <laughs> back then. It was such a consistent game that that yeah. he would. It's so consistent that he would stay stuck to me even though I let go. It's uh, not consistent. Personal. All right. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I don't remember where this led. This does this lead in the morgue? That work? no, it leads in the section where there are oh, the, the prison cells. Yeah, the prison yeah. cells. Okay, so we don't need to go there. And actually, depending on how you play the manufacturing plan, you you would, would have an opportunity yeah. to see <coughs> Ziki Sanders, the the, the, yeah. the terrorist leader of the last map, in there, and you could have another conversation in which it was kind of implying that he has powerful friends and. Uh, uh, is going to be it would be out like uh, very very soon and yep. if you, you cross pat again then uh, it would be uh, it would settle the score with you kind of thing so we pretty much use the same camera design for mankind divided we kind of decided to keep it for ease of uh it's similar you know it's very similar yeah. how did we deact oh no I, we just needed to go with uh, the cloaking right yeah and i just wonder why we did put on the wall that the sewers were in that direction from a gameplay perspective, I understand. Yeah, but from a credibility, credibility perspective, yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, who cares, right? Oh, but, and um, now we have our lockers from the future. Oh yeah, <laughs> the lockers. <laughs> uh, so there was there was a big thing, right? Yeah. That, that was like, see, I don't think people realize sometimes, like little trivial things become major, like lockers, or like lockers, major problems on the game, and and we end up having endless meetings. So. You know, we wanted to have the doors that open, like, yeah. like a locker, like a real thing, right? A locker. And, like, yeah, exactly, a locker. And uh, apparently, somehow, we couldn't do it. <laughs> no, we could do it. Is that the the, the problem? Is that uh, it was a question <clears throat> that the AI, if the door is open, the navigation for AI, where yeah, they would take cover and etc. etc. It's gonna so affect the nav mesh exactly, and all sorts of things like so that. So they prefer we did it. So we we 
me and a concept artist literally had to sit down and, and figure out, okay, so how's it gonna open? It's gonna slide, but if it slides in, where does the door go? Because it's just a locker, it's not large, it's not like a, it's not like a sliding door that slides into a wall. It's like, it's just a unit. So it needed to be like these things that are overlapping each other, but then it was like, but not, there's not gonna be enough room to see what's inside. And- uh, But I have a scoop for you. In, oh. in mankind divided, the opening like this. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm kidding you not. <laughs> the things next gen can do. Yeah, like, wow. next gen. So now. So that's a scoop. We have lo locker that's, doors. That's a scoop. Yeah, that's yeah, a it's scoop. a scoop. Yeah, we should have said it at E3, man. <laughs> um, I remember one night, I was, I think I was, I was at, at home and you were, you were doing overtime and uh, there was. Um, In Pikes. There was, yeah, there was a, a heretical. <laughs> <laughs> there was heresy in the game. There was there was a um, black magic. Happening. There was black. Yeah, there was something very heretical. Yeah. There was a, a closet, whatever a locker that opened normally. It wasn't Pikus in Montreal. And uh, I don't know. I sent you who, a video of. Yeah, that. I don't know who did it. I don't know how it ended up there, and it worked. And you sent me, so I'm at home, and I get this. Uh, I get I get this text message from you, and it's a video, and you're like, check this out. And so it's you in the video, and you're like, you like. Check this out, and then and then you, you point it at, at, the, at, the, <laughs> the, screen. at the screen, and then you open it, whoop, and then whoop, you close it, and you open it, you close it, you open it, you close it, and then you put you brought the camera back at you, and you're like, woof, <laughs> you're like, wow. Hey folks, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed going back to Human Revolution as much as we did. We're currently working hard on the future of the Deus Ex franchise with Mankind Divided, of course, and a bunch of other stuff, and we can't wait to show you more. Thanks for your support.